What's going on everyone? It's your boy Ethan. Hope you're having a great day. Welcome back to another poker vlog. And this one's a special one because it is our last day in Aruba. And there's one last chance to win a WSOP circuit ring. And it's a fun ride as we max late reg one bullet and you'll see how the journey takes us. It's been a pretty brutal run so far in the past few videos with how the tournaments have been going and just one last chance. I'll try to make it count, but here, if you want to leave a like on this video, it's always much appreciated. The support is incredible, and I love making these trips out. So hopefully we run well, and let's get into the poker action. Our last chance at a ring here in Aruba starts in level 8. Blinds are 500, 1000, 1000, with 12,000 to start in our starting stack. I pick up ace 5 of hearts in the hijack with 11.5 thousand. There's an undergun gun open to 2200. The player to my right makes the call with a massive stack and I am just all in with this one. Ace five suited is good enough to jam 12 big blinds and action folds around to the player to my right who surprisingly calls. Hopefully he doesn't have anything too good. He just has king queen of spades. So I'm ahead, a 60% favorite to win and we're off to a run out. Oh, wow. Route team's pretty good as I turn a straight and it's nice to find a very quick double up near the end of late reg. On to the next level we go. I have about 15 big blinds and open rip pocket fives from the button. Luckily, get the blinds to fold and chip up in a much needed way. Progressing to this spot with ace queen suited. I have 24,000 in stack, so about 20 big blinds. I'm in the hijack and I open things up to 2,500. Onto the button player who three bets to 10,000. Back onto me and look, got 20 big blinds. Ace queen suited is a premium. I'm happy to go all in given the positions of the re-raise. Happy to race or hopefully I'm also ahead. I rip it all in and he snap calls with pocket kings. Not a good spot to be in. The flop comes queen high, so all the money would have gotten in regardless, I guess. Turn comes a brick, and the river ace from space, still alive. So lucky to find this disgusting suck out, and just a big thank you to the dealer for dealing me some heat. Now the chip stack is almost at 50,000. What a nice run up from a max late reg of 12,000. Moving on to the next level, we're in level 10. I pick up ace 10 offsuit in the small blind and there is a low jack open to 4,000. Action folds to me, we're out of position and offsuit. I think I would rather raise this, but considering that I only have 25 big blinds in stack, trying to figure out what makes the most sense here and i guess i'm just gonna hope that this guy doesn't have anything too strong if he has a hand like ace jack or better then i guess i'm kind of screwed right i go all in trying to capitalize on how often that these players at this field will overfold and thank god this guy does end up folding and i chip up again now have about fifty-five thousand in stack and there are 27 players left at the final three tables of this tournament. 18 players make the money, so let's just survive nine more players and go to the final two tables now. In the next spot, I pick up aces in plus one and see some action. Under the gun player, jams. 28,000 in his stack. What a glorious spot to be in. And I am going to just make the call, right? That's what you do with aces. You call all ins. Everyone else folds, we're up against pocket tens, and the flop comes ace high, but all clubs, so there's a little bit of a sweat as this player holds the ten of clubs. The turn gives this player a gut shot straight draw. Wow, we're gonna need to fade some stuff on the river. The river is a brick, thank goodness, faded everything. It's always a little bit of a sweat, and they never make it easy on you, even if you flop top sets. But now, chip stack is now skyrocketing up to 86,000. After finding a big spot with aces, this hand gets a little bit dicey. With ace king offsuit, we're in plus one once again. The undergun player, now only player that covers me at the table, opens it up to 4,500. Considering now that we are four players left to make the money, there are some ICM implications here, and I'm just going to call here and see what develops. Action folds around to a small blind player who decides to jam. Makes things a little bit difficult as this jam is really small. It's only 12,000. And now the action is reopened. And that entices the under the gun player 
to put in a four bet of 36,000. Oh God. I know I'm not folding, that's for damn sure, and I don't know if I want to call or at this point considering how much of the chips are committed in the middle, if we might as well just go for an all-in as well ourselves. Ultimately, I think about it, and I think an all-in is going to be the best move considering what happened this hand. It's a little bit funky and unorthodox, but I put in a 5-bet jam, and now onto the under the gun player who is playing for the side pot tanks for a long, long time. After a long time in the tank, the under the gun player ends up folding, which is huge because we automatically win in this pot as we take down the 24,000 that this player raised to on top of the 12k jam. So we scoop up 24k and now we're playing for an extra 36,000 in the middle. We're up against ace jack off suit, so pretty much a great spot to pick up a bunch of chips. Ace King ends up taking this one down, and all of a sudden, you've got a ridiculously huge stack, and I'm ready to hopefully ship this thing. Two deals later, I'm in the small blind, and I pick up Ace Queen off suit. There is a hijack player who goes all in for 28,000. Action folds to me, and this is going to be a pretty easy call. So, we're up against pocket nines. Let's win a flip here, and the flop comes ace high. Awesome. Turn nine, that sucks. Got turned that beautiful two outer and the stack takes a little bit of a hit. Granted, I can't win every single hand of the tournament or else that just wouldn't be fair. And here we are still on the stone bubble now with 19 players left chip stack at about 122,000. And this is when things get fun on the stone bubble. Here with a massive chip stack on the bubble, this leads me to play this hand in a pretty wonky way. We're on the button facing a plus one open to 4,500 who has about 25 big blinds in stack. I have ace deuce suited and I three bet to 12.5k. I think this puts a lot of ICM pressure on everyone else left to act and I can just relentlessly three bet and raise with any two cards considering it won't hurt my stack at all. All the other players fold and after a while this plus one player thinks and folds himself Really nice spot to just chip up as everyone has to fold during the stone bubble. The bubble has now burst. We've made the money. It's always nice to end our Aruba trip with a cash and the chip stack is up to 140,000. We're at the final two tables now with 18 players left. Got another chance to win a ring and this time I've got a pretty big stack to do it with. All right, we're on break and I'm probably one of the chip leaders and I'm still wearing my beach attire and I'm wearing these donut swim trunks that I own. So I look like a total idiot. Good decision to late reg this tournament though at least as we made the money and it's a nice way to end off this Aruba trip. So that's it, 17 left. It's a turbo so blinds go up pretty quickly and just gotta run good, try to play decent. Mainly just gotta run good and let's ship a ring, why not? 17 left, come on. Can't keep final tabling stuff or running deep and, and not closing it out. So that's the goal, make it to the final table, run good, win hands, pick up chips and then pick up a ring. Let's do it. With 16 players left after break, I have 190,000 in stack and I pick up ace jack offsuit in the hijack. The action starts with the under gun player who just open rips 33.5k. It is 11 big blinds and action folds to me. I think my hand is good enough to call and I'm happy to gamble since I can afford it with a big stack. I make the call, everyone else folds behind me and we are in a great spot up against ace 10. Another opportunity to be a massive favorite to win. The run out comes pretty good. The river 10 doesn't matter as now we have Broadway and win. All of a sudden, there are 15 players left in the tournament and I am chipping up. After winning some small hands, my chip stack is now crossing the quarter million mark over 250,000 chips in stack. And in level 15, we have made it to the final table, nine players left to win a ring. Let's get it. Here in this final table in level 16, I pick up pocket sixes and plus two. I put in a raise to 13,000 and the hijack player decides to go all in for about 10 to 11 big blinds. Action folds to me and this hijack player is Darren who is a friendly vlog watcher who I've been friendly with this week and got to know. And with pocket sixes, it's going to be an easy call. 
wish him luck, and he has pocket five. So another spot that we're in, another huge favorite to win, and the run out is good for pocket sixes. GG's to Darren. It was really nice meeting you and playing with you this whole week. And now we're down to eight left. Let's try to run it up. All right, checking in back in. Uh, a lot has happened since we last just checked in. I think it was two hours of play, I believe. And just trying to showcase all of the big hands that happen, that occur. There are a lot of small ones that have definitely helped um, ch chip up on my chip stack. Lost a few hands as well, but overall eight left in the final table and just trying to capture all the big hands. So trying to capture all the bust out hands and uh, any significant ones that will swing my stack upwards or downwards. There's a lot to keep track of. Once again, just trying to be as active as I can with the camera. It's really hard when you're in the final table. There's a lot of moving pieces. Hands get dealt a lot quicker because it's more shorthanded, but here we go. We're about like second or the third largest chip stack with eight left and eyes on the prize it's first place with a wsp ring also the first place is 8300 which is a nice little boost i'll take that no complaints but eyes on the prize and yeah should be a fun one let's just get back in there let's just uh play as well as i can you know so far a little suspect but things are working out and let's run good in the following spot pick up sixes once again this time we're in the small blind and there is a button who open jams for a hundred and four thousand here, easy call given the blind level we're in, and we're up against King Jack offsuit. So, this time, not a heavy favorite, just gotta win a flip, right? The flop comes king high. Not, not, not good. Not good for sixes, but runner, runner straight. And sixes will win. Find another miraculous way to pick up a bunch of chips my way. Living that luck box life, and all of a sudden, there's seven players left. Moving on to the main stage here with ace queen of clubs in the cutoff. We're bulldozing through players in this final table. I raise it up to 16,000. The button folds, small blind folds, and the big blind decides to ship it. He goes all in. It's a total of 191,000. It's 25 big blinds and this hand is too good of a premium to just fold and let this one go. Easy call, I'm in there, and he shows us King Jack off suit. Okay, let's just try to win this one. We are ahead and a favorite to win, and the flop comes Jack high. That sucks, and the turn Jack seals the deal. Lose a really big pot at a crucial stage of the tournament here at this final table, and now having a big stack didn't last too long. Stack is down to 230,000. All right, let's send a rebound from that hand. I pick up ace 10 of spades under the gun. I open it up to 16,000 and action folds to the small blind player who goes all in for 81,000. Jeez, all right. It looks like we're the only person trying to knock people out, I guess, for some reason. Gotta do all the dirty work ourselves. I make the call against ace seven suited. Again, another huge favorite to win. Let's do it. The flop comes good. Turn, unfortunately, brings in a chop. The river, seven. Oh, God. Hating life right now. That is pretty rough to lose this one again on back-to-back -back hands. And now the chip stack is really, really crippled. In the following hand, we see an all-in 8-5 offsuit versus Jack Deuce. Rooting for the good old 8-5, and 8-5 ends up winning. Now go from seven players in this tournament to six left. Still gonna need to do some work and find some more chips to add to our stack. All right, trying to get on the rebound trail, I pick up three, four of diamonds in the big blind. Action starts off with the cutoff player who opens it up to 23,000 and facing a small raise, suited cards that are together. I'm happily in here to see a flop, I make the call. The flop comes king 10 high with two diamonds. Here with the four high flush draw, I check it over to him and he bets out 40,000. Pretty large bet, but it does seem like a misclick as it looked like he only wanted to bet 20,000. Anyways, I already talked myself in my head that I'm not folding this. And to win these tournaments, you gotta take some opportunities to gamble and run good. Maybe I can jam and force a fold out of this player who misclicked and bet a little bit larger than he wanted to. Let's go for it. This player has 134,000 effective in his stack and I'm all in. All in? All in. 
he makes the call with king nine off suit so all right we're gonna need to hit a diamond here one time please dealer i've used a lot of one times already but this time is much needed at the final table and the run out no the dealer says not this time so now lose with four high which was a little bit silly but had to gamble here i think Stack is crippled to just under 60,000 as this plan did not work out and I'm all of a sudden a really small stack in this tournament and final table. As a short stack now, I am really rooting for everyone else to somehow bust and here we see ace-queen off versus queen-jack suited. Rooting for ace-queen as a heavy favorite to win and go five-handed but queen-jack just flops the nuts casually so still six-handed left in this tournament. The big blind just passed me and now I'm in the small blind with four big blinds. What do I get? Three deuce off suits. Not an ideal situation to be in, but in the same orbit, I pick up three deuce off suit once again with just about three big blinds to play with. Now things are looking pretty bad for me in this tournament. Well, as you can see, things did not end off too well. There's six players left in the tournament and we got about three big blinds and a dream at this. So we're gonna need some incredible run good for the next part of the video because I don't wanna spoil it, but things get a little ridiculous hold on you have to wait a day just to find out but the next video will be posted on thursday noon eastern time and you don't want to miss that one but uh, i'll see you guys in the next one on thursday thank you so much for watching part one part two is coming soon leave a like if you made it this far and subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified whenever that next video is posted on thursday